looking at all the people around me, they, they weren't on this earth when I was at IIT Madras. <laughs> Uh, you young people. People think, you know, well, they think MIT is competitive. You know, people think IITs are competitive. But I think people don't understand that, you know, when it, it's a meritocracy the way IIT is, that, you know, people want um, other people's success in, in, in the sense that they all want to get better together, right? Um, I mean, I've lived a lot. I've gone to a lot of countries, you know, I've lived in the United States and, uh, and traveled the world. But I've come back and I feel like IIT Madras is bigger than I remember. So, um, my name is Srinivas Devdas. Um, I'm uh, technically the batch of 1985. Um, my uh, branch was LC, which stands for, uh, I guess, low current. That means electronics. Um, and But that's not where I started. So, um, I'll, there's two things that are interesting about uh, uh, the answer to the question. Uh, first, I was the last five-year batch. And uh, because they were gonna have two uh, batches uh, graduating at the same time, they allowed us to speed up a little bit. And so um, I graduated in uh, four and a half years. Uh, and so I left uh, IIT uh, Madras in uh, December, 1984. So it's been 40 years, almost to the day. And I started out in uh, power systems and uh, I, I, I had a good enough uh, GPA uh, you know, by the end of my second year that I was allowed to pick whatever branch I wanted. And uh, um, back then there was no computer science. I suppose if there'd been computer science, I would have switched to computer science, but we didn't have a computer science branch for my batch and I switched to uh, electronics. How does it feel to be back at IIT Madras and by looking at these pictures, the nostalgic feeling that you get, so how does it feel? Yeah. I mean, I think there's no question that, uh, you know, some deep-rooted memories are bubbling up to the surface right now. Uh, it's, it's really, you know, it, I mean, 40 years is a lifetime. I mean, it's like, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at all the people around me, they, they weren't on this earth when I was at IIT Madras, uh, you young people. Um, but, um, you know, I went to Godavari uh, to get a picture. Um, that was my... Um, uh, hostel. Uh, so I was in Mandakini for a year and then I li lived in Godavari for three and a half. And you know, I went back, but I have to say, I mean, my first reaction when I looked at Godavari w was at the front entrance, which is, oh, it hasn't changed. Right. And so I was, I was very pleased because, you know, I ran inside. I wanted to go up and get a picture um, uh, next to my, my little room, my, my dorm room. And the only the thing I was a little bit disappointed with was that all the room numbers are changed. Um, you know, they've, they've changed, renumbered things because I think there are more rooms now. Um, but, um, um, but I got a picture of me and my, my friend, also the class of uh, 1985, in, in front of Godavari. So um, I think intrinsically, um, IIT Madras is the same institution that I came to in the sense of, I think, what it represents. Um, it represents, you know, I think work ethic represents a meritocracy. I, I think it, it, it represents, I think, to me, um, let's uh, uh, you know, build up a person to be an intellectual and be a scholar. So in that sense, I feel like you know, it's, it's the same, right? Now, obviously, you know, from a visual standpoint, uh, there, there's, there are many changes. I mean, I love the greenery. I mean, there's, there's a lot more you know, trees than uh, ever before, right? It feels bigger. I mean, interestingly, you know, you, you somehow uh, you, you think that, um, I mean, I've lived a lot. I've gone to a lot of countries, you know, lived in the United States and, uh, and traveled the world. But I've come back and I feel like IIT Madras is bigger than I remember, right? It's, uh, so you feel home? Yeah, I definitely feel a, a, a sense of belonging. I mean, there's no question about it. Uh, but, and it's almost like I'm, I'm starting to think, you know, like I was, you know, obviously much younger and I wasn't smaller, but, you know, I think, you know, I knew much less, but it just, I, I, I almost feel like I'm a kid, you know, kind of looking at something much bigger Whereas I used to be a kid, and then I, I didn't think back when I was a kid that it was such a big place, right? So that's, the, uh, to me, that's the strangest part of my reaction, right? So, so. you coming here after 20 long years, so, but then you coming here for, take, uh, for receiving the DA awards, how do you feel about it? So, I mean, I just feel, uh, you know, I think blessed uh, that uh, uh, the people here uh, felt, um, you know, strongly enough about what I'd done outside of IIT um, to uh, you know bring me back and uh, give me this honor. 
Um, and, um, I, you know, I have to apologize for uh, not making it uh, the year that I got the award. I mean, I'm five years late. But, you know, people are just so nice and hospitable. And, you know, I'm the only one reminding them of that. You know, and, and, you know for all they know, I'm the class of 2024 DAA. And, uh, I, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely that, that it, it, you know, better late than never. And, and you know, let's, let's make sure I don't get disconnected in any way or shape or form anymore, you know, here on out, right? So I think this visit has really reinforced uh, the sense of belonging, you know, as I just mentioned. And uh, now I, you know, now the connection is established again. It's, it's a little bit like, you know, I don't want to let go again. Right? So it's been 40 years, but then do you have any memory of you having a hangout spot over here in IIT Madras with your friends? I mean, I have to say, you know, <laughs> I remember, uh, you know, lying back in OAT, you know, uh, you know, watching, watching, you know, movies, you know, watching uh, Star Wars and, you know, in, you know, an English movie every Saturday night, I think, right? Yes. You know, what? what um, I don't know which temple, um, you know, I used to go to, there, there are multiple temples now, but, you know, I, I saw these kids, uh, you know, biking and, you know, and I got to the point where I think, you know, certainly at least once a week, you know, my friends and I would go bike, bike to the temple, but also Godavari. I think when I went back, I remember playing cricket, you know, in between the two buildings, right? So mostly I would have to say, uh, they're all things uh, extracurricular. I mean, I mentioned, I think, you know, three things that are definitely extracurricular. Um, from a standpoint of uh, the more intellectual pursuits, studying with my friends, right, you know, was, uh, and just sort of understanding, you know, being, uh, I don't know, stressed, and I mean this in a good way, about the period, you know, tomorrow, right, and then, you know, trying to understand something. It was a different world. There were no textbooks. It, what you got, um, verbal um, education, you know, you didn't get handouts. You know, you weren't, you didn't have videos, you know, you didn't have LaTeX, you didn't have anything. Uh, what we took from that classroom um, was uh, was on us. You know, we had to pay attention, right? We had to take the notes. And then we would help each other. So the, the part that really comes back is the camaraderie. And you think it's competitive. Uh, uh, and, and I think people think, you know, well, they think MIT is competitive. You know, uh, people think IITs are competitive. But I think people don't understand that, you know, when it, it, it's a meritocracy the way IIT is, that, you know, people want um, other people's success in, in, in the sense that they all want to get better together, right? So that's, I think, you know, comes back. And I think meeting my a good friend, Raghu, who I used to study with, you know, really brought that back. Right? So, so one piece of advice or this thought of wisdom that you share to the current student who wants to pursue your career, like teaching people. Yeah, well, so I've had a very homogenous academic career, right? I mean, I'd left here two weeks later. I started a master's and then a PhD program at Berkeley. Then I left Berkeley and then two weeks later, I started a faculty position at MIT. And, you know, it's been uh, 40 years since I left, as I said. So I don't know um, if uh, my career is for everybody, right? And, and, you know, people should find their own way, right? Um, why do I do? I love what I do. I wouldn't want uh, anything to be different um, because I have you know, freedom in my in my job. Um, I, I I follow my uh, intellect and my heart, right? So I think my advice is don't force it, right? I mean, don't force it. Um, hopefully, you know, people have parents and mentors who are telling them to find things that make them happy, right? I mean, ultimately, you know, I think you need to be happy. I mean, you know, you know, maybe money makes you happy. Maybe academic success makes you happy. Maybe building things, you know, uh, being an entrepreneur makes you happy. I think um, as you interview your DAA uh, awardees, you, you see, you know, there's many ways of success. I mean, you probably see that, right? Um, and so, so I think the biggest thing is, I mean, you got to work for, for what you want. So I think a work, work ethic is, is incredibly important. IIT does an incredible job of instilling that, I think, in their uh, young students. And it stays for life, right? And then beyond that, you know, work hard, you know, follow your heart. Right? Can't get it simpler than that. Thank you, sir. Awesome.